Hess, hello. <laughs> Hess. Um, today we're fi I'm finally making a second episode of the hamster advice. Teaches hamster advice. So this episode is about hamster cages. Let's get started. Now this first cage, um, <laughs> um, this first cage, as you can see, it's a blue hamster cage and it's barred. Um, it has the water bottle. And upstairs, a wheel, a bunch of tubes, a house, and I'm guessing that that pink thing on the top, it, that pink thing on the upstairs is a food bowl. That's what it looks like. Um, the thing in front of the house, not the thing next to the house. This thing, I think it would be a great idea for a, um... For a travel cage or a cage to put your hamster in while you're like cleaning its cage, but I definitely not a cage for it to be living in. This hamster cage is kind of similar. Um, it's yellow and it's barred. Um, it has a wheel, a hideout, two food bowls, um, a water bottle, and a couple stairs and slides and stuff. The same, the same, same as the last one. It would be a great idea for a travel cage or a cage to put your hamster in while you're cleaning it, but definitely not to live in. <laughs> this one, um, uh, it kind of looks like DIY, but it probably isn't, because on the bottom it looks like a bin. Um, so at the bottom it has sand, and then a tube, and then it goes up, water bottle, and then it goes up again. This one doesn't look too good. Because the the bottom looks really small, and then the little parts at the top look even smaller, so definitely don't get this one if this is a store blockade. Now please people, do not make the same mistake that I did. As you can see, this cage has a wheel, food bowl, water bottle. That's all it has. Um, I had this wheel, and my two older hamsters, Shadow and Snowball, they had this cage and they ran away and it was really sad. The peaches, she's in a corner tank, not a creature. Sweetie. Same thing. Don't get this for your hamster. <laughs> your hamster is either going to escape or die because hamsters will. Because if hamsters have a small enough cage, it can kill them because they'll get way too stressed. And stress can give them wet tail, and wet tail within 48 hours of your hamster having wet tail with no treatment, it dies. This one is almost the same thing, except it's just three of them on top of each other. I mean, it's kind of an upgrade, but it's not too good either, because even three critter turtles isn't good at all. Um, this is a lot, this is a little bit better. Um, it's blue, and it's barred. Um, I wouldn't recommend barred cages, by the way, because your hamster could chew on it and either, like, mess up their teeth or chew through the cage. This is a really confusing cage. I can't tell what that thing on the top is. I don't know. Um, I mean, same as the- same as a couple- same as, like, the first two, there would be really good for travel cages, but not for your hamster to, like, live in. So you can tell it's gray, it's barred, and it has like a bunch of different floors. Um, a little hideout, I think, up there. A water bottle, and a food bowl. Alright, I'll show you guys a couple more, and then I'll show you some examples of what cages should look like. So this one is the same as that pink one that we just looked at, but it's blue. It's the only difference. Um, now we have this one. I, I This one is really bad. Because um, it has that wheel. And it's just barred. Like, it has nothing in it. And also, it does look very small. Because the size of the wheel, the wheel is pretty big, and that takes up most of the cage. Okay, this is the last cage we'll look at, and then we'll look at good cages. Um, this is a Critter Trail cage, and it has a, it has a lot more on the top, but that doesn't make it any better. It's still a very bad cage. Okay, now, let's look at the good cages. I swear I looked up good hamster cage. I'm gonna get really triggered if I see bad ones. Oh, come on! Here we go. A zoo zone too. Zoo zone cages are really good because 
Well, they are just, they are cages. They are cages and not aquarium tanks, but it's still a lot of this. They still kind of, they look like aquarium tanks. At the top, you can, yeah, at the top, it can breathe through, obviously. And then it's even glass, so you can look through at, or glass or plastic. I've never had a zoo zone. But, yeah, this is a very good cage. It looks, it looks very big. Sorry, it looks pretty big. So, this is a good cage. Oh, I just realized, maybe after this we'll look at good and bad hamster product. Eh. Here's the Zoo Zone 2 with no, um, with nothing in it. Oh, by the way guys, I saw this one time and I thought it was an awesome hamster cage. Now that I look at it, it's really not good. <laughs> what is this? Um, this isn't like the best hamster cage, but it does look pretty good. It's a DIY as I can tell, and it has a very good wheel. That is one of the best wheels that you can get for your hamster. And there's their little ham. Okay, I'll show you guys one more good cage and then we'll look at the products. Well, I said I'll show you guys one more, but here is what I would recommend. Here's what I would recommend. Um, uh, aquarium tanks. So here are just a couple pictures of aquarium tanks. And they're all really good. Especially this one. I really like this. Another very good um, hamster idea for a hamster cage is IKEA D top shelf, and they are pretty cheap. So, I mean, if you have room, then go ahead and get one. So yeah, they're really good. What you do is I've never had one, but you lie the shelf on its side and you take out the shelf parts. So then your hamster has lots of space to run. First, we will look at wheels. Um, this is not a good wheel. <laughs> I'll show you a couple of the bad wheels. Um, this is not a good, well, this is probably all I'll be able to find, but this is not a good wheel because the hamster could get its feet stuck. Along with this one. My cousin has gerbils and he has this wheel. I told him about it. He didn't listen. It's one of the good cages. Here, er, <laughs> I didn't mean to say cages. Here's one of the good wheels. If you haven't noticed, I have the same wheel, but it's purple. Right back there. I know we like barely looked at wheels, but now we're gonna look at the bedding. Bedding. Okay, <laughs> I'm typing it in. Okay, bedding I think will take a little bit longer to look at. Okay. <laughs> um, so the bad ones, well, this is a good, Carefresh and Aspen are great, are very, um, Carefresh and Aspen are great. Peaches, she is blue Carefresh. Um, uh, the, the Katie Clean and Cozy is very good too. Just don't get scented bedding. The scented bedding is not good for hamsters. Other bad bedding is wood shavings, such as cedar and pine. Aspen is the only good wooden sha wood shaving for a hamster. Um, also, fluff is not good. This fluff right here. Because if your hamster swallows it, it could get... If your hamster swallows it, it could get stuck in their throat. That's not good. Also, I've seen people use this as um, bedding. Well, not really bedding, but like for for the stuff as <laughs> as the for their hamster. And this is pretty good. This is what I mean, fluff, because they can eat. They, what, what do you mean, safe and sound? I don't get out. it. I have a feeling that cat got out. Oh no. Um, what I mean about, yeah, your hamster could swallow this, and then it'll get stuck in their throat. Oh no. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope this helped you for hamster stuff. Bye!